Mr. President, it is indeed a privilege and honor to present our latest world champion, our 10th world champion in the history of professional boxing in this country, from DK Poison, Azuma Nelson, Nana Yaokonedu, Ike Bazooka Kwote, Alfred Kote, Agbeko Joseph, Joshua Klote, Emmanuel Tego, Isaac Dogbe, and the number 10, Richard Oblite Kome. It's in the privilege to present you. I'm very happy to be here and, and um, um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, words cannot express, I mean, my feelings, how excited I am. And um, like you said earlier on in 2017, when I fought at the arena, I said, after the bout, I'm going to be a world champion. And uh, thanks be to God, with, the, uh, with my team, with the GBA, I mean, Street Tribe Management, with the support, they never lose hope on, They never lose hope in me when I, I lost uh, back to back, the field with Robert Easter and Chevy Coffin. You know, it, it has been um, it has been a very difficult year, and I think um, uh, as I sit here today, the younger ones coming will, 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 will use my journey or will see me as an example, and they're gonna I mean keep working hard as they can, cause uh, you know being there is a lonely road, and uh, if you don't have the mindset and if you don't get the support that 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 will help you get to where you wanna be, it's always very difficult and um, a lot of people have been down the road and they couldn't come back but thanks be to God I've been able to come back and win the world title and um, you know I just do it for Ghana I did it for Gamashi and you know I did it for the whole country it's good um, it is a very happy day for all of us and for the people of Ghana um, I came to Bukum. And I remember vividly the promise you made from the stage that you were going to be a world champion one day and you've, you've, you've honored your promise. You've lived up to your, your pledge. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations. And the, you're right, the, the path you've trodden, that despite defeats and disappointments, you stuck to your guns knowing that you had it in you to do it. It's a great story. It's a little bit my own story. <laughs> uh, and uh, so to that extent, I really appreciate and have a lot of empathy with where you're going. My mother, my God bless her, she, she always, when we were kids, she always used to tell us, when you try, you don't succeed. Try, try, and try again. And I think you have justified that old axiom. Well done. I'm happy that you have had the honor of visiting us here, uh, coming to show off the, the belt, and uh, giving us all an opportunity to bask in your glory. Yes, uh, because uh, they'll say it was when I was president that we had at least two world champions in, in rapid succession. And God willing, there will be more. Whatever on our side, from government side, we can do a little to support and make sure that uh, you, you know, it's not, I mean, in terms of, for instance, this achievement, uh, it may not be very much, but there's a little that we can do. They're going to buy you a car. Then the process of arranging it from the ministry, that they get you a nice Toyota car. As you see. And the office of the president is also adding 50,000 CDs to wow. it. To go to, uh, yeah, it's a small token of our esteem and our admiration for, for the honor you have brought our nation. Keep it up. We will be following everything that you're doing. Wherever you fight here, abroad, you have to know that the eyes of the 30 million Ghanaians and their president, who is a boxing fanatic, <laughs> will be following you. All right.